going on YouTube? Anthony RD Reviews here and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at some of these iPhone cases I just picked up. We have the Game Boy case, the Otterbox commuter, it's a standard um, hard silicone case, and the black stitch. So let's get started. Start off first with the Game Boy case. This one came in the mail today. I ordered it on Amazon. It cost about two bucks and it's just a standard silicone. So uh, a quick look at the back details. We have the on and off. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up. Up top it says on and off where the power switch would be in the original Game Boy. On top it says a uh, dot matrix with stereo sound. Over here we have the battery indicator light. It's a traditional green screen, Nintendo Game Boy right here, trademark. Uh, the buttons stick out, they're 3D. They push in a little bit. We have A, B, start and select. And the vent is actually cut through. You can see through to see your phone. And at the bottom, very small, you won't be able to see it on camera, it says iPhone 5 or iPhone 5G. Nothing on this side. The side with the uh, volume, we have plus and minus for the volume. We have the vibration switch, pretty easy to reach. I have pretty big hands and I can get in there, so it's pretty good. The top, we have the lock button. You see right here. That's how it looks on the phone. The bottom we have opening for headphone port, the lightning connector, and the speakers. It's a bit loose at the bottom, but otherwise it's pretty good. So yeah, that's the Game Boy case. Alright, next up we'll take a look at the Black Stitch case. This one I got also off of Amazon. It was $3, about $3.50 with tax. And here's a look at the front. It's black, light blue, almost looks gray, and um, a navy blue. See the open port for the camera and flash are very visible. The bottom has the opening for the lightning connector and headphones. You might have a problem with the L-shaped headphone connector. Here's a skull candy one. That one goes in pretty good. But with the larger connector, you might have an issue. On the side, we have the volume buttons, which kind of sit off. So you have to line them up right for to get that to work. And the... The volume rocker is a bit deep, so if you have larger fingers, it's really going to be hard to get to that. The lock button works pretty good. Not much for texting in the front of the phone. You can see it's not very deep, so I wouldn't really trust it dropping it. As I said, I'd probably use it around the house, but... Fairly decent case for 3 bucks, And it also is able to stand, so like if you wanted to have it stand on your desk and watch a film. I mean, if there wasn't too much movement, as you see, it stands pretty well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that case. Okay, so next we have up this uh, hard silicone case. This was, uh, I think this was 99 cents. I think I picked up the 99 cents or I just saw it at the front register and grabbed one. Yeah, so here's the bottom. You see the speakers, the lightning connector, and the headphone. Uh, kind of small, but it doesn't look like it would affect any headphones too much. Here's the side. It's a transparent lime green. You can see the SIM card slot. The top, lock button really responsive. I've been using this one for the last two days. And the volume buttons, they're actually um, engraved, the plus and minus. It's pretty nice. You see? Like that. They work pretty well. And the volume rocker is very easy. I mean, the um, vibration rocker is very easy to get to. Excuse me. So yeah, pretty decent case and it's actually hard on the box hard in the back and uh, the camera's not going to make it out but you actually see the Apple Apple silhouette through this thing so pretty decent case for 99 cents and it actually has a fatter lip than the game well than the stitch case and the Game Boy case because it's a harder case so feel better laying this one down than those but still not fully protected but you get what you pay for and lastly my um, favorite and overall everyday case. It's the first case I got with the phone and it's the Otterbox commuter. The white with the gray. See the back window, you see the Apple logo. This is the only part of the phone, the case I don't like is this window because there's no plastic. Under the fenders they come with the plastic over this one and it doesn't so if you have coins or some keys in your pocket you can scratch up the Apple logo. So that's the only problem I have with this case. Otherwise it's perfect. You got the camera and flash. Again that has no plastic but it's not really an issue because it might reflect the uh, flash. Outer box on the bottom. You see all the ports are covered by the um, 
these little rubber things. It can be hard to get out if you don't have nails, really. There's the lightning connector and the headphone one is right here. This one I have trouble getting out sometimes. Speakers opening, it's a little deep, protected. The side, you see the plastic. This is a two-piece case. The hard plastic goes over the um, the thick silicone part. There's uh, the volume buttons up and down. The vibration to the left. Up top, you have the lock button. And in the front, this is a really a nice lip. I have no problem laying my phone down on its face with this case. Really protect it. I think I dropped my phone or I fell out of my pocket like the second day I got it with this one on it. You see, there's a scratch up here. No, no damage to the phone at all. A scratch right here and right here. It's the only time I dropped the phone. It just fell out of my pocket. But yeah, this is a really reliable case. And until I get the, the Defender, which I used to have, this is great. And it's actually... I think it's better than the Defender because it's it's sleek. It's not too bulky. I'll use the Defender like... I don't know if I'm at work or something, but... Otherwise, I'll be using this one. And the other ones are just like gimmicky cases just for show. But protection-wise, we're going to go with the OtterBox or something similar. That's just my preference. And here's a comparison to my older 3GS Defender. You see it's a lot thinner. And it just feels better in your hand. But... Alright guys, so these are my four cases I have so far for my iPhone 5. They are the hard silicone, the OtterBox commuter, the black stitch, and the Game Boy. Uh, let me know if you guys have any of these cases or if you know of some cases I should check out. And um, thanks for tuning in. Please stay tuned for more reviews and like, rate, and subscribe. Thanks guys.